Hey guys, Sterling with Amateur Nerd here. Um, in this video, we're just going to take a look at how to download and save a JavaScript file to your computer so that you can use it in your projects. Um, we'll start out just going to amateurnerd.com. We're just going to be downloading a jQuery file today, so we'll click here and it'll take it to the, take us to the jQuery download page. Um, if you have a link like this, like this provided here, if you just click on it, it'll just show all the code. So if you want to save that to your computer, what you'll do is you'll right click it, save link as, and then it will automatically name it what it should be named. And we'll just click save. And you can see, you can see over here on my desktop that that was just downloaded. So I have a working JavaScript file that I can use in my project. Um, sometimes you will, if you want to maybe borrow a JavaScript file from another site, you won't have a link to be able to you know, save the, in that manner. So what, how you want how you want to do it is you might just have the code like this. So you still can save it as a JavaScript file that will work. You'll want to use Control A or Command A, depending which which uh, operating system you're using. You want to copy that, and then you just want to paste it into a text editor. So there's all that code pasted in. Now we'll just want to save as. And we'll go back over here, and you want to save it. It's important that you save it the exact same name that it has. So we'll just save it as that same name. Save that, and it will ask me to replace it because I already have one downloaded on my desktop. But we'll click replace. And now I have a working JavaScript file downloaded with a link and without a link. Those are the two ways that you can download it. So um, I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for more great videos.